Hey, people, Duncan here. You know, Mad Sports Talk. First and foremost, subscribe, like my channel. Let's get this thing growing. You know, people ask me all the time, how come I never report on the NFL? They tell me all the time that I do these videos about every sport but the NFL. Well, let me tell you, it's not because I don't love the NFL. It's not because I wasn't a diehard 49er fan. It's because I believe the NFL is anti-American. I believe it's racist towards white people. And it pushes a false narrative, incites violence, and division, separation in this country. And here's what I mean. First and foremost... We've all heard about the protests. We all know many of them kneel on our flag. Okay, this alone is an act of un-Americanism. This is something that is completely disrespectful to kneel on an American flag considering how many people come home underneath it who have fought for this country, who have gave their life for this country. And then these people want to kneel on it. Next, they turn their backs on the national anthem. How un-American do you have to be to turn your back on the American anthem? The national anthem that was sung to celebrate the independence of this country that we all share today. Now, before you all start talking to me about how I don't understand how my people weren't slaves. Let me remind you that the Irish were slaves in America. Um, and I can speak for my ancestors. So let's get that out of the way. Next, they tell you it's about these social injustices. Well, here's the thing about that. One, who voted to be a Democrat and who voted to send jobs to Mexico? Who voted to open up borders to bring drugs, illegal weapons, gangs, violence into inner cities? Who voted? Because about 90% of the black population are voter-wise are Democrats. So they vote for the poverty. Next... You can also say they voted for the crime, the drugs, the gangs, and the illegal immigration into these neighborhoods. These illegal immigrants take their jobs, which apparently the black population is okay with. They create this gang culture during the 80s and 90s. Which again, I guess the entire black population is okay with. Then they go out. What makes this worse than this is they want you to say that white people hate them. They want you to say that they want to blame the cops. But listen, when you're willing to go kill each other, a quarter of your youth over the color of a rag, you can't complain about social injustice. When you're willing to abort the other, another quarter of your youth, bef when half your youth is dying before the age of 25, you can't come to me and talk to me about how black lives matters or any life matters at that point. You can't talk to me about social injustices when most of the heinous crimes, murders inside our inner cities are done by black, on black gang members. You can't talk to me about social injustices and police brutality when it is the police officers that have to go into these neighborhoods and have to defend the American people, the American citizens, the hardworking people who end up getting shot in the crossfire. They're the ones that have to go in and rescue the children or have to go in and tell the parents of the young child who gets caught in the crossfire. You see, you want to scream about social injustices. Well, while you scream about social injustices, I scream about political injustices. 
I scream about Democrat injustices. I scream about manipulation, subversion. I scream about the fact that the, the black vote has enacted these injustices upon the black population. It's not the white man. It's not even the Republicans who fought for their independence. It's not the Republicans who fought to desegregate them. It's the Democrats that have fought that have fought the process the entire way. And if you don't believe me, look it up. It's the Democrats that voted for, for abortion with the help of Margaret Sanger, a known racist. Margaret Sanger is the founder of Planned Parenthood. Type her name in. You can hear her speeches and her rallies. So, with that being said... Don't come talking to me about social injustices. Don't come talking to me about any of that crap. The NFL is dead to me in this in this country. The NFL can go bankrupt for all I concern, care about. Because any business that's willing to ostracize a man kneeling for his lord in Tim Tebow while promoting, publicizing endorsing a person who's kneeling against America makes me wonder why does the NFL hate Jesus and why do they support racism and anti-Americanism remember this same Kaepernick is the guy that wore pig socks to represent our police officers he wore a Fidel Castro shirt and talked about freedom and independence See, what's sad is he had, Kaepernick has Bible verses tattooed up and down his arms. Yet he dates a woman who's ISIS friendly and suddenly he becomes a Muslim. Now, you tell me why he's donating money to ISIS instead of the inner cities. You tell me well, he's not supporting the officers that are trying to end the gang violence, murders, deaths. You tell me why he's not trying to stop the Planned Parenthood offices that commit thousands and thousands and thousands, actually about 55 million abortions per year, abortions to minority children. So you tell me why Margaret Sanger, a known racist, spoke at many many KKK rallies, wrote a book about the eradication of minor group, minority groups. You tell me how she was able to create Planned Parenthood, a major organization that was designed to kill a massive chunk of population. Tell me that. You're voting for the wrong people. You're voting for the wrong people. I say it a thousand times. There is no such thing as an American Democrat. Every policy that a Democrat believes in steps on America. It steps on everything America believes in. Remember that. Think of that. That's my message. Have a great day. Duncan out.